All right, everybody, we're going to go over something real quick. I'm going to show you guys some cool new functions that are going to be in the new server. Um, today, uh, we're working on getting all this stuff implemented right now. You're going to go to your vehicle, get one of your vehicles out. I'm going to pull mine out. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh. You're going to hit G while you are in your vehicle. This is the new inventory HUD. Um, it's going to be a lot more optimized. This is your person, which it says player, which that is going to be your player. You can set the uh, amount of items right here that you want to move. This is your uh, bank and your cash on hand. You can take this right here and you drag it over to your glove box. It's a five slot max, so you can't put a lot of stuff in it, okay? Um, but you can double them. So see how this one's two now and this one's one. So there's three items and you have three more spots full. If I wanted to put my radio in the glove box, I put my radio in the glove box. Drag it back and forth. Make sure you set the number. And you also got to watch how many spots you can fill. But you can't, you know, overlap different items. You know, you can't put a phone and a radio over each other. It's going to cancel one out. So you can only have five different items. You can't go over them. So you're going to just click, drop. Click and drop. That's for your glove box. Now, your trunk. You're going to hit G. When you go to the back of your trunk, same thing, drop it back and forth how many you want to move. So if I want to move three of my hamburgers to the back of my trunk, I type in three, I click on it, I drag it over, now it's back. If I want to take them all out, I just drag it over. If I want to take out my water, I type in, I've only got one in there. So this is your person. This is your trunk. All that's there. You're always going to want to make your cash uh, taken, and you're going to make sure your cash is always deposited in your bank account. Um, officers, when they are searching you, can uh, confiscate items and stuff, and you don't want to lose your weapons. There isn't any uh, black money anymore. There is no dirty money. Um, it is all given out in clean cash now, just like you would IRL. There's no such thing as dirty money IRL, so that is no longer there. The weapons and the weapon shops have changed massively. Um, it's not going to be what you guys are used to, and it's not going to be the same anymore. It's a whole new weapons system. Alright, you're going to go up to the little white circle here, and hit E. Here is your weapon choices for the clean weapon shop. I'm obviously not going to showcase where the dirty, uh, the blacklisted weapons are, but this is what you guys get. Alright, so if I want a baseball bat, I just click on it, move it over to the space. If I want a bat, a crowbar, hatchet, a wrench, a battle axe, a knife, a dagger, switchblade, knuckle duster, if I want to get a pistol, and if I want an SNS pistol. You're also going to have to buy ammo, and this is something you guys got to watch. Um, you grab five of them, you put it over. You can only do increments of five, so it's going to take a little bit to get that maximum. And it also tells you when you click on the item, the max ammo, so it says pistol ammo, Max is 9999. So you just keep clicking and dragging over. Same thing with your pistol large ammo. So different calibers of guns are going to take different size ammo. Now, when you go to the Black Weapon Shop, it'll be the same thing. Uh, you're going to have AK 47 ammo. You're going to have different types of ammo for those guns. You got to buy that separately. So, you know, that's how that works. So now you have your weapons. Um, hot keys are all set up for the first five slots. So number one through five on your keyboard are the hot keys for those items. Um, so everything is going to have a hot key to it. So if my one key is going to be my pistol and my two key, let me just move this over here just so I can show you guys. Uh, I'm going to put my pistol there. I can move my radio there because it's not really a hot key item. 
That's just, you know, it's a non, these are usable items that you're going to have as hotkeys. You know, so you don't want to have those in these areas. So if I wanted to have my, duck, my knuckle dusters as a third. So pistol, SNS pistol, knuckle dusters, Dasani, water, hamburger are my hotkeys. So if I hit my five key, he's going to eat a hamburger. If I hit my four key, he's going to drink some water. Three, I got my knuckle dusters. Two, I've now got my pistol. Now here's the thing, you notice I'm clicking on my pistol, it's not doing anything. Well now you gotta drag your ammo over to your pistol. Oh shit. And you hit one, you're gonna drag your ammo over. Oh shit. Take your ammo, hit use. It reloads your pistol with your ammo. Now you gotta do this for every single gun. The guns are not gonna be automatically loaded. You're gonna have to load that weapon now. So you hit F2, you're gonna grab your pistol ammo, you're gonna go use. Now both my weapons are fully uh, registered and they have uh, ammo in each one. If you do not put ammo in your guns and use your ammo, like so, your gun is not going to have ammo. They're not going to become pre-filled. Uh, so it's basically more realistic that way. Um, you're going to notice a huge stability increase. Uh, we went from a normal uh, 48 to 50 FPS up to 70 and 75 FPS um, in the server now. So FPS has increased immensely. And that's going to be your vehicle an inventory tutorial so always you know groups of one so now if I want to put my pistol in my glove box I just put my pistol in there if I want to put maybe let's say 10 things of ammo in there there we go it's right there so well you gotta hit G hit G glove box alright I'm gonna put my ammo right here I'm gonna put 10 things of ammo in there and I'm gonna put my pistol in there I've got a pistol, some ammo, some bread and water in my glove box now. I'll move that one over to the one position, since I'm not going to have a dedicated weapon on me now. And that's going to be in there. So my number two slot is still open, so I could add another weapon to that slot. So if I want my switchblade there, that would be that one, etc. So one is your primary, secondary, third, water, hamburger. So one, two, three, four, five nothing when you drop things you can also do that too if you want to drop something you know, let's go in say uh, let's just drop it there it is now it's dropped down on the ground and you can hit f2 and you can pick it up off the ground and then you just picked up your switchblade again so you drop it there it is and you can't just walk over it and pick it up now you got to actually open up your inventory Gotta get over it, obviously. Just grab it, drag it over. You just picked up your item. Get your car. Voila. All items are gonna be in the black weapon shop. The banking system's changed. The robberies are gonna be changed in the banking as well. Um, all the drug scripts are getting revamped and redone right now. Uh, I'm also gonna show you guys the motel script. I'll take you guys over to the motel. Yeah, the pink cage motel which everybody will be furnished with. Uh, you gotta buy a hotel. Houses are for donators only. So you have to be a donator to be able to get the houses. There's gonna be a limited selection of them. Um, one of our property managers will take you to one of the properties, they'll show them to you, and you go from there. So you go into your property. This is something that we're fixing right now, so you guys can't use it yet, but you'll have a stash under your bed you hit E, it'll open your stash right there. You can store things under your bed. You also have the dresser. You go over to the dresser. You can put stuff in your dresser there as well now. So you have two areas to stash things in the house. And everything is instanced and set up to where no other player can see your stashes or where you hide things in your house. So that is the first little tidbit I'm going to show you guys of the server tonight. Um, tomorrow we'll go through more things and... Uh, Hopefully have it all done and ready to go. I'll see you guys later.